Well, Joe Budden gave his opinion on Jeezy, and Jeezy showed up at the complex office and did an interview, very calmly responded to uh, to Joe Budden. Well, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. If you want to advertise on the channel, it's Jordan Tower Media at gmail.com. Well, we got Jeezy and Joe Budden tonight. Now, Jeezy interview, he controlled that interview with Joe Budden. Uh, you know, he, he was directly responding to everything that Joe Budden said. And, you know, because Joe Budden was, you know, talking about Jeezy releasing an album and having a bunch of features on it, and they were critiquing it. Jeezy didn't like that shit. Jeezy fired off a little bit, and then Joe Budden just responded today because people were saying that Jeezy's son, DJ Academics, and Joe Budden, I don't... I don't think he did. I think he just made his point. I listen to y'all, you know, up here critiquing shit, and it's just like, you know, it's, it's crazy because it's like you, you, you're critiquing some shit where these kids out here trying to figure their lives out. And these are the same motherfucking up and coming people because that's what it's about. So we, uh, you know, get financial gain from it. That, that ain't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't the move for me. I'm the perception of Jeezy is versus. Who Jeezy is. Right. Because what you're saying now, what you're saying now sounds like what most of your core fans already know. Like, oh, this ain't, I'm not in no popularity contest. Now, what Jeezy's saying is true, but also if there aren't people critiquing these newer artists, they're not going to be hot out here. That means they're cold, nobody's talking about them. Uh, they rely on people critiquing them. Now, I agree on not downplaying a project before it even drops. You have to at least listen to it. I agree with that. And Jeezy made his point. I don't think a son, uh, Joe Budden, Joe Budden responded to that today. We're going to be Barbara Walters ish. Unless I, I come turn it up. No, I found two minutes. I found out two minutes before Jeezy was coming up here. Well, I liked it. I thought it was great. I thought it was awesome. Mm -hmm. I was like, the whole time, I was, I was glued to my seat. Yeah. This would have been a top 10 interview on the breakfast line. But for every struggle and the content and the format of our show, it's a change of pace that fans fall off. And I understand it because we, we go back and forth. We kick it. Niggas was calling me pussy and all kinds of shit in my mentions. Yeah, that's what it's there. I mean, I can see how they don't say that, though. Tell me. Explain it to me, because I ain't never been pushing. Well, I guess they see the difference in energy, okay? There's an inconsistent energy. If it's Yachty, and of course, there's a different situation. Oh, people don't know how to read, then. If it's Yachty, they're like, yo, he's doing more theatrics. When it's Jeezy, you're much more subdued, reserved, attentively listening, and opening the floor for the person to talk and for you to hear and understand and learn. Um, what, do you, what, what, do, what do you think about that, that, that critique? That is a legit, and, and I, I think that is true, but I it's think so it's because no one is respect. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. So OG, and there's mutual respect between you and him. Y'all have been through um, the industry 10 plus years, both of y'all been okay. through the same Okay, listen to this. This is the part that I get confused about. The episode where we spoke about Jeezy and the energy was high and I was all of these words that the fans say I was. Jeezy saw that. Well, that's why the episode... No, no, okay. That's, no, 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 you shut the fuck up for a second. No, you slow down. I'm, I'm telling, what I'm saying is, the same way the viewing public saw that, Jeezy saw it. Okay. So when you come here, it's not time to do that again. Everything that he said in that room yesterday was a direct response to everything that I had said. Okay. So what, what is that? That is the debate. Well, can you though? Because the whole time, like, I you feel fucking like, fuck these fucks. He was throwing the show in the bus. I feel like we could have addressed a little more at all. Okay, so now, like, you don't know how to read. So, let me help you. This is why that interview was, this is why this show was so amazing. Because the fan, for what the fans think was corny and different energy, can't read. Jeezy and I have history, right? Whatever that history is, matters none. 
Jeezy saw the episode like the fans saw the episode, right? When Jeezy came in, he came in on defense. Yes. See, you're not you're not reading. No, no, no I know that. Wait. Know that. And before he came in, I was on defense. I know that too. Send his people that way. Lock him in this room in case he get wild, right? And he came in with the super, what up, nigga? I seen that shit you said, right? Mm -hmm. Which is why we got a very boring first 20 minutes. And then if you are looking at it the way I'm looking at it, which is why this is the best fucking show ever made, then he could see that we weren't here to attack him. We were really here to discuss and have dialogue and give you the platform to answer some of these things that people say. It's like a perfect alley-oop. That's what the great interviewers do. You ever listen to Howard Stern? Will you? I love that he said that. Howard Stern is the best interviewer out here. And they did a good job in that interview. I enjoyed that interview. And they did shift the energy. So anyways, guys, I don't think that you know, Joe Budden did not get sunned. Um, I think he listened. Jeezy spoke his mind. Jeezy did control the interview. They allowed him to control the interview because if they didn't, they wouldn't have had an interview. And from them letting him control the interview in a way and them just shifting it a little bit with little comments here and there, they got some real great knowledge out of Jeezy and uh, a deeper side of Jeezy, you know, looking at uh, the game in a different way and how Jeezy... Uh, wants to take his career and what he's done and what he believes in giving back and everything and uh what the streets mean to him trap music you know trap music is something to him that's you know people sacrifice their lives for and are in jail for it's not something to glorify it's something he made it out of and he wants to help other people make it out of so it was a great interview uh i'll link it below guys i appreciate you guys for tuning in i uh, appreciate you guys support here on this channel uh and anyways i'll check you guys on the next one you guys are amazing and if you want to add run ads on the channel it's jordan tower media gmail.com and i appreciate you guys and i'll check you guys in the next one